Media Awesome, I'm Ava J and this is Bookish Pixie. So I recently got a question from someone who asked whether or not I thought it would be a good idea for them to pursue a career in writing if they were really, really, really shy. I really empathize and understand writers who are really nervous about the marketing slash appearances slash interacting with people part of being an author. Because the truth is, even though you probably can't tell, I am a super shy introverted person. Before I got my anxiety under control, social media in general was like a massive trigger for me. To give you an example, I had a panic attack when I created my first Facebook account and immediately tried to close it and did not use it for like two weeks before I tried again. And when I created my first Twitter account, I had to put it away for two days before I could look at it without freaking out. It was really only up until somewhat recently, like a year ago, that I really felt comfortable putting my picture on most of my social media accounts. Because the truth is, it really freaked me out. So you can imagine Imagine then, especially the first time, the thought of meeting people I'd only interacted with online was pretty terrifying. And you can forget public speaking. I mean, if you had asked me two years ago to go speak somewhere, no. So what I'm trying to say is I was and still somewhat am a person who gets nervous about the idea of social interaction. But the truth is a lot of writers are just as shy and introverted and have just as much social anxiety as I do and more. And if you are a person who's wondering whether or not it'd be a good idea to even think about publishing because of that, I challenge you not to let it stop you. For me, I needed to take it one baby step at a time. I started off with a Twitter account and then a blog and for years my social media accounts just had a stack of books as my avatar because I was still really scared to show myself online, but I have to say I'm really glad I did. Because my Twitter led to my blog, which led to Tumblr and Facebook and a bunch of other accounts, and eventually this channel, which helped me a ton when I went to a conference over the summer and did my very first public speaking gig. By the time Beyond the Red publishes, I'll have been building my social media accounts for almost five years. I'm glad I started as early as I did because Every step was letting me become more comfortable with opening up a little bit more until it led up to the summer when I was able to stand in front of a room of people and speak by myself for 40 minutes with just a PowerPoint and some flashcards. I couldn't have done that four years ago. Some things are never going to get less scary. My next step is I will be introducing myself to local libraries and bookstores in my area and let me tell you, I've been procrastinating because it still terrifies me. But I know if I do it just one step at a time, that'll be something that I'll become more comfortable doing too. So yeah, social interaction can be terrifying, especially if you deal with social anxiety or are shy or introverted or whatever. But if your dream is to be an author, then don't let social anxiety stop you. Because yeah, it'll be terrifying and yeah, some days will be better than others, but as long as you keep pushing forward, you will still be able to see your dream happen. This summer, even though I was absolutely terrified the entire time I was getting to the conference and all of that morning before my speech, when I gave my speech and it was over, I felt so amazing because it was really incredible to be able to share my story, to encourage other young writers, and that alone honestly made it so worth it. And look, I mean, next time I have a public speaking thing, I'm still going to be scared. But in those cases, at least, it's okay to be afraid. Know that you are absolutely not the only writer who is shy or deals with social anxiety or is introverted. I guarantee that a good majority of writers who look really comfortable in front of crowds were once just like you scared to put themselves out there. And maybe they're still scared, but they know that this is their job and this is their dream. And if they push through it, it'll be worth it. So keep pushing, keep dreaming, and don't let your fear paralyze you. Because trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. So that's all I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys next week.